Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, I'm gonna take, trim this up a bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, we need to finish up the front bottom portion on this. Uh, do a couple more layers here and there, just to touch it up, maybe add a, add a little strength, like here, it's a little thin here. So we'll just patch it up, add a little more material on the backside, and then we will move on. Uh, once we get this finished up, we will take and start uh, doing some body filler, smoothing it all out, get it all ready. That way, once we're all said and done, we can start painting this. This has had plenty of time to cure up now. So what we'll do, we'll pull, uh, pop out the foam from the inside. We'll go ahead, sand all this down. I know there's an air pocket right in here, so we're gonna sand it flat. But only after we take and scuff all this and reinforce the spots we needed to. get some reinforcing done on the back side here and then we can uh, trim it all out.
Uh, we're gonna do two more, two or three more layers on the outside, just for the flange that sits on the top of our frame, and then um, the parts that wrap around this forward housing area. So I'll go ahead and uh, start tossing my thoughts on there. Alright, so we'll go ahead and let this cure up, sand it, trim it, and then we can get started on the body filler. Alright guys, well, we're going to go ahead and start trimming that up, but as you can see by the puddle of water by the garage door, it's kind of storming outside, so if we lose power, we're going to have to cut it early. Okay, so when we were test fitting it, right here, we need a little more clearance up here. So we're gonna take notch this out and bring it just a little bit forward and same with the other side, just to clear, to clear these knuckles right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and notch this out and then we'll uh, test it again. You guys can see now I'm gonna go left and we just have the clearance we need same thing on the other side 
All right, and with that, now that we have this all trimmed up, ready to install, uh, we got our clearances. We're gonna go ahead and sand it all down and do some bondo work on it just to get everything completely fleshed out. Um, in the meantime, we're also gonna start hitting the backside of the backrest and get our holes drilled for all the mounting hardware for the cowl and the seat. Right now, it's all looking really good. So we'll go ahead and uh, keep moving forward. Gonna be a couple more episodes of just a uh, little bit of a uh, fiberglass touch up here and there. So uh, you guys are gonna have to bear with me as we get this all finished up. Uh, we, we don't build things in a day, right? So stay tuned. See you guys next time.